Hey guys, how you doing? I just want to show you how you could take your entertainment system and turn it from this to this. Let's go. Alright, so first this is the projector that I got currently. This is a 4K version. This is also the screen. And you can get it in different sizes. I bought this on sale. It says 325 right now, but I originally got it for 214. If you wait around for the holidays, you probably can find it on sale. This is the mount that I'm currently using. You don't have to use this exact one. You can get one that fits your need. These are various other ones that you can get. They're pretty cheap. I got mine for about 20 bucks. The main thing you want to look for in the mount, I would say is flexibility. So you want to be able to mount it anywhere and for it to be able to move in all different directions. Now this is the current sound bar that I'm using for this setup. It's a real cheap sound bar I got from Walmart. Um, I usually use my TV sound bar, but at the moment I'm trying to get it repaired. So just a straightforward stereo speaker it has Bluetooth and it has a uh, optical in. I'm currently using the optical in to my PS4. This is the projector. This is the PX700 HD. It's a 1080p projector. Now it's going for $4.99 on Amazon now, but when I got it during Black Friday, I paid about $3.50 for it. It has all the function buttons right on top along with the power button. It also has two HDMI inputs. It has audio in, audio out. It has a, VH, a VGA input as well. And a keystone lock. I'm currently using the audio in for my sound. It also has built-in speakers as well, but they're not that great. This is the focus and zoom wheel, just to make sure that you get your picture lined up well with your screen. fans located on this side of the projector you want to make sure that you keep it free of any uh, walls or anything in the way so you get the airflow you don't want that lens to get hot this is the mount easily installation into your projector the other side into the ceiling my cable management please excuse it it's pretty terrible but I can't drill into my wall this is my Nexus player that I use on one of my sources for media content. You can use the Apple player, uh, Roku, Chromecast, um, PS4, Xbox. This is a screen, 135 inches. A uh, pretty basic screen. Like I said, it was 214 when I originally got it. The price has gone up. But even with the screen and the projector, you're still paying about $800. Now, you tell me how much, you know, a good 4K TV goes for at around 65 to 75 inches. This is still a good deal. And I chose the um, manual screen rather than the one of the automatics. I just prefer it. And for a size comparison, Here's my five-year-old. As you can see, it's pretty big. It even covers most of my door. Here's my Sony 65-inch TV. Here is the screen from when I first got it. Comes in pretty well packaged. I made a big mess, but I had to get the TV wall mounted for this to work. It's not very flush, but it works out pretty well. The screen pulls down right over the TV. And here's the final setup. Here's the screen compared to the size of the TV. Now that's a 65 inch. 
When it comes to the settings, I didn't change anything. I left it exactly out of the box. Um, it's still in eco mode, mainly because I want to save the life of the, the bulb. As a, you know, projectors' lives aren't, you know, like TVs. They do have a lifespan and um, it's in hours. So this one so far, I've used 538 hours. I have a long way to go. I believe it's rated for at least 3,500 hours. So here goes a pitch black test so you can see what we're working with here. Uh, Avengers Endgame, it's in 1080p, 60 frames per second. Get a little closer so you can see that it's still very sharp, very bright. Colors are very vivid. It may not look like, like that in the video, but in person, trust me, it's a beautiful picture. Here's it with a little bit of light. Now, this isn't the brightest light in the apartment, but I've found out that even with maybe a window open or a light on as long as it's not too close to your screen your picture is still very enjoyable it's very vivid very bright the colors are popping off the screen so even with a little light it won't really hurt the projector you can watch it in day or night here's pitch black in the living room this is straight out the box when i first got it no mount no nothing Aquaman, not one of my favorite movies, but the picture, the color of this movie is gorgeous. I can hear them sometimes, they can hear me. The remotes are pretty basic. Power on, power off, volume, stuff like that. Of course, you know kids love it. Now we use our projector for about probably 10 hours a day. I may, I may turn it on four or five times a week for family movies or to play video games. Kids will love it. Look at them, they can't get enough. Now, you can always get a TV, but you know, if you really want to get that theater experience, you have to get a 75 inch or a bigger. And those TVs, if you check the prices, they run from anywhere from 2000 to four to five to 10. You know, you can get this set up right here for under a thousand dollars and be happy.